Hi everybody, this is Shannon. Thanks for joining me on the channel. This is No Shelf Control, and I have another author visit and book that I would like to tell you about. As you know, my local bookstore, Gramercy Books in Bexley, Ohio, does a lot of author events. Usually they try to do one once a week. Um, this one actually happened on Zoom and I really, really enjoyed it. Often it's a lot more fun to go and see the author in person and get your book signed and actually sort of get to know the person behind the book. But it didn't work out that way in this particular case. They uh, call these Gramercy at Home author events. Um, and I really enjoyed having the opportunity to be at home and get to know a little bit more about this author and this book. The book itself is called Loyalty, and it is by Lisa Scottolini, um, and it was good for me to meet her because the whole time that I've known about her books, I've called her Lisa Scottoline. So nice for me to at least know that her name is pronounced Scottolini. So Lisa Scottolini, number one best-selling author, and the book Loyalty is blurbed by Kristen Hanna, who I know a lot of you love and I have really good feelings about. Um, Kristen Hanna says that loyalty is powerful, poignant, and unput downable. This book was published March 28th, 2023, so it just came out recently, and it's published by G.P. Putnam's Sons, and it's 480 pages. And despite the fact that it was almost 500 pages, I read it really quickly. I was trying to read it before Lisa Scottolini came. Um, I actually didn't quite make it, um, but finished it after her um, visit and actually watched her visit on a recording as opposed to, to watching it live because I was afraid she was gonna spill the tea on me. And I was so far into the book that I really wanted to find out how it ended by myself. So, um, but she was a joy to meet. She was a lot of fun as she spoke. She is a mile a minute. She is literally all over the place. Um, but so high energy and so enthusiastic about her writing, about the book, about her audience. Um, I just, I had a lot of fun watching her. Um, she also talks about, so this book is about Sicily and the mafia. And she talks a lot about how her family growing up um, in South, is it South Boston or South Philadelphia? I think it was South Boston, um, had some ties to the neighborhood, you know, crime scene. Um, they were not in the mafia, but, you know, she had an uncle who kept finding things that fell off a truck and she didn't figure out what that meant until she got older. She also had an aunt that she ran into one day with her mother and had no idea that this woman was her aunt. They, the family simply doesn't speak to this particular woman. And so uh, she found out a lot of interesting family secrets as she grew older as part of the Scottolini family. Um, and so it was interesting to hear her talk about that and hear her talk about, you know, why she was so interested in Sicily and the mafia. But before I get too far ahead of myself, let me read you the synopsis. Here's what it says. Franco Fiorvante is a handsome lemon grower who has toiled for years on the estate of boss Baron Zito. Franco dreams of owning his own lemon grove, but the rigid class system of Sicily thwarts his ambitions. Determined to secure a prosperous future, Franco will do anything to prove his loyalty to the Baron. But when Baron Zito asks him to arrange the kidnapping of a little boy, Franco crosses the point of no return, setting in motion the making of the world's first mafia family. Gaetano Catalano is an idealistic young lawyer whose devotion for justice is a calling. Gaetano is a member of the Beati Paoli, a real-life secret society of aristocrats who investigate crimes since corruption riddles Palermo. Gaetano and the Beati Paoli set out to find the boy and bring him home, but for Gaetano, the mission turns to obsession. He risks everything to right the wrong and bring justice to his beloved city. The kidnapped boy, Dante, grows up in a madhouse without even knowing his last name. He doubts his own sanity until he meets Lucia, a girl with a tragic past of her own. They fall in love, then set out to find Dante's kidnapper and learn his true identity. And there's a fourth character that isn't mentioned here in the synopsis, who is also darling, um, that I, I won't tell you about, except to mention that he raises goats. Um, and they're just all very tied together, not until you get about three quarters of the way through the book. And when I looked at people's reviews of this book, that was the concern for some of them. These stories just didn't tie together. Well, they did. It just took a while to get there. And that didn't bother me at all, but it was apparently a problem for some people. 
There is a lot of abuse and violence in this book. Um, if those are triggers for you, please take a pass on this one and take care of yourself. Um, but I really enjoyed this book. It is not, I learned a lot about Sicily and about the mafia and Palermo. I learned about the history of being Jewish in Sicily, which I thought was fascinating. I didn't know anything about Jews in Sicily. Um, and I, I learned a lot from that. I also just really enjoyed the characters and the driving plot. It is not a heavy book by any means. It is all plot pretty much the entire time. The characters are great. They're well built. Um, but this isn't a book that is going to necessarily change your life. It's just a good story well told. Um, and I think there's something to be said for a book that can tell a good story um, and keep you interested um, right up until the end. Now, I did find the end. I gave this only four stars. And I gave it only four stars because I found the end a little bit predictable and neatly tied up. Um, I wanted something a little more creative or a little more, oh, I didn't see that coming, or just a little more sophisticated in some way. But I really don't think you'll be disappointed. It, you know, it is still a high four star book for me. And I, I absolutely recommend it. Um, if you have any interest in The Godfather or mafia type stories, um, if you want to know anything about Italy or Sicily and have that desire to know something about that part of the world or the history of the mafia, um, it is not all 100% accurate, but she did a ton of research went to Sicily, you know, looked through records, visited some of the locations that she writes about. Um, so there is enough true there that you will absolutely gain some wisdom if you read this book um, about the mafia and about Sicily. So I really enjoyed it, gave it four stars, and uh, would absolutely pick up another Lisa Scottolini book um, if it came across my path. So... I hope you enjoyed this review and uh, my brief discussion about Lisa's author visit here in Columbus, Ohio, or on Zoom here in Columbus, Ohio. Um, if you did enjoy it, please click like and subscribe. I love to find out what people are enjoying that I'm doing so I can do more of that. I do have a wish list at the bottom of the description of my video. If you are interested at all in gifting me with a book, I love to receive them and love to read them, give a review on the channel, and give you a big shout out when I do so. So I hope you will continue to come back. I have another author visit to talk about, more of the latest releases that I'm excited about to talk to you about, and several more front list and back list single book reviews. So please keep coming back, and uh, I will see you soon, and we can talk all things bookish. Take care. Bye.